If you have ever had a muscular skeletal injury, you know the recovery takes time and eventually physical therapy. Not only do you have to rehabilitate the area that was injured, but you've got to strengthen the muscles around it to improve function and prevent any further pain. Yeah, and you know, physical therapy is not always a walk in the park. It can be hard. Well, many patients are turning to aquatic therapy. Simply put, it's traditional physical therapy done in water. And as we found out with a visit to Aquacare Physical Therapy in Salisbury, it's creating quite a wave in rehabilitation. The time Ruth Epstein spends here in the water is important to her, and it's how she keeps in shape. When I first came here, I came as the result of back trouble. Ruth's doctor prescribed aqua therapy to help her recover from injuries over the years and even a knee replacement. I thought it was absolutely wonderful. It was um, soothing. It was just calming, and it allows me now to exercise because I can't exercise on land, but I can exercise in the water. Aqua therapy is just one specialized realm of physical therapy in which we use water as a modality to treat a variety of patients. Melanie Blankensop and Tessa Dowdy are physical therapy assistants at Aquacare. They say aqua therapy allows the patient to do a lot more in the water with less pain compared to traditional land-based therapy. The warmth of the water helps to ease their movement, reduces pain, so we're able to get through an exercise regimen that typically someone in chronic pain wouldn't be able to do on a land-based um, session. You also have a little less residual pain and soreness afterwards because as you're in there doing the exercises, you're actually able to relax and benefit from the warmth of the water. Many of the exercises done during aqua therapy are the same as the ones done on land, but the natural buoyancy reduces gravitational pull. In other words, patients are lighter. It helps to unload the spine, unload the body. We're at less of a um, gravity pool on us when we're in the water. One of the benefits of the water also is that we're able to see them sooner than someone who's just going to get the land-based therapy because they don't have the joint forces going down through them as they're exercising in the water. You can get resistance training in the water from moving faster or slower, which you wouldn't be able to do when you're on land. It's been three or four years since Ruth has been prescribed aqua therapy, but she attends free swim sessions and does exercises she learned through therapy. And I can do everything. I can run, I can ride bicycle, I can do jumping jacks, I can do um, strength exercises that I can't do on land because of my back or my knees. Aquacare also offers something called Bad Regaz. So Bad Regaz was actually developed in Switzerland. Um, it's a town that has a natural mineral springs in which they float patients. It gives the therapist a lot more control as far as the movements and allows the patients to be fully relaxed in that environment. Melanie says Bad Regaz is helpful for people who have chronic pain. She says when patients are fully relaxed and not putting pressure on their spine, the therapist is able to better isolate and then stretch affected muscles. In that environment and in that position, he can also um, do some resistive exercises. So he could hold on to Jessica's legs and have her push against him. He can have her tighten her core muscles and use the water as a resistance to get that strengthening exercise as well. Although aqua therapy is done in a pool, patients are not required to swim. We do not know, have to know how to swim. I think that's one of the common misconceptions people have about aquatic therapy. Um, in our pools, we have anywhere from three feet all the way up to seven feet. Um, we have rails in the pools, and we also get in directly with the patient, so we're one-on-one -on -one with them. For Ruth, the three days of aqua therapy a week are vital. Absolutely. I, I, without it, I get stiff, and um, I just need it, and it makes me feel good. And most physicians know about aquatic physical therapy, so talk to your doctor if you're considering it. It's covered by most insurance companies. However, your insurance company will likely require a prescription.